Alright, back to where I started. Excellent. Sort of. Anyway. Okay, magic... Uh, magic barrier, I guess. Oh god, I'm really scared about this. Not gonna lie. Uh, refresh on Biakrin, because she's poisoned. Stance back up. Uh, how's Weapon Bless to wait two turns? Weapon Bless up. Jack the Ripper. Please don't screw me over, game. That was pointless. I'm very scared now. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. <sighs> Just have to survive. Just have to survive. Uh, 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 uh. Weapon Bless back from Sakya again. Jack the Ripper. That's okay, Satori can get rid of that. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This needs not matter. Get rid of that. I just have to not score up. Okay, where's my refresh? Where's my refresh? There it is. Uh, press the Moonslash, Jack the Ripper. Okay. Get rid of that. Do you know that Ramu's um, AoE heal and her skill tree, even though it says it cures permanent status effects, it does not get rid of petrification. Okay? Just letting, that, just letting you guys know that. Okay, uh, magic attack. Magic barrier up, I guess. Uh, dark breath again. Then press a moon slash. And then also weapon bless on Sakia. Yes. I need to enchant with dark immediately. I really need to. Okay, bang bang. Very nice, Yamu. Oh wait, I have um, Starlight Barrier. It's all okay. Also, Miranda's Magic Barrier too. That would have helped as well. Yeah, it was the Magic Barrier. My bad. Okay, so that. Uh, Dark Breath again. Press a Moon Slash. Almost there. Dark Enchant on Yamu. No, Sakia first. No, you more Sakia. Uh, Sakia first. Yes. Jack the weapon. Let's go. <laughs> that was way, way too close. Oh, good lord. Mate, you use the Tori for Starlight Barrier. Okay, okay, okay. So I have the full heal. Good. Starlight Barrier, put it back up, please. Press that Moon Slash. Dark Weapon on um, Sakia now. No, Yom, Yom. Need to put on Yom. I'm running out of MP, but I should be okay. Thank God for that last word. I think I like that. If I get past the second form, I can cheese my way through the third, third form. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. Come on! Yes! Third form! Excellent! Everything is coming into play. Now, I need to explain a little bit about the third boss. It takes maybe two or three attacks per turn, so that's always deadly. It has four screen elemental attacks with all elements, so that's why you need like things like high ribbons, dragon scales, and so on. The other thing you need to note that is, if a land... If a land... If an element is active on the land, and it's, it is... Sorry, it is of the four basic elements, which is fire, ice, earth, and lightning. What the boss will do at that point, or can do at that point, is that it will absorb the power of the land, and that will heal it for 10,000 HP. And then following up after that, it will it will do a full screen attack, which does, I think, 777 fixed damage or something. It does a crap load of damage. It is magic based though, and this boss has a lot of magic based attacks, so uh, Ramu can um, hold out at least for one turn with Magic Barrier. It also has Petrification Attacks, so on and so on. Has a lot of gay crap. Sorry for using the term gay in a derogatory term like that, but seriously, I really hate this boss. And I hate it so much that I just want to cheese it out like crazy. So what I think I will do is I shall cheese it out. I have Mana Bomb. Check. Don't need Rainbow anymore. Check. Dark Breath. Check. Need to for Dark immediately. 
Slash of Fatality? Check. I do note that uh, Yomu's 6 tier sword has a Slayer effect against this guy. However, in Lunatic mode, this species here, it doesn't have a species, so you don't, you can't get any Slayer effects whatsoever. Okay, that's sorted out. Good. Now, what I need to do... Uh, uh, Saki's gonna go on proper switch, so that's okay. What I should do is manipulate for Dark, I think. Yes, manipulate. Uh, I need to all stats up again. It's gonna run out up in proper square. Proper square. Yep. I really hope Saki has enough energy for this. Come on, Yoma, give me some crits! That's the stuff I'm talking about, baby. Now, the boss in normal mode only has like 100,000 HP, so like right there, Yomu took down like one third of its HP, so, <laughs> you know, Yomu does a crap load of damage on this guy. So, really don't, I really need to be careful with my MP here. As long as I have enough MP to do another private square, I should be okay, I think. Boom. 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 How's the land? Good, it's getting into dark. Great. I think at this point, if Yoma gets a couple of crits, I think the boss should be... Ah, oh, crap, she needs to do a stance. Okay, 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 so I'm going to use Magic Barrier here. I'm going to use, um... No, you know what? Screw that. I come out of bomb. I'm going to use a Physical Barrier. Physical Barrier. And then I'm going to have Satori use the Magic Barrier. Magic Reflect more on that. So that will block against both Physical and Magical Attacks. That will give me... Time to get my stance off. And then I need to check my dudes. Yomo in particular. Five dark. I need to weapon bless on my Yomo. Okay, where's my weapon bless? Here it is. Saki can do Jack the Ripper. Hopefully, that's it can hit it. There. Oh, wait, not yet. Physical barrier. Magic reflect. Let's go, bitch. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, Saki can't hit this guy with proper square as is. Too bad. Can't touch me, baby. I was ready for you. Now, I have a bomb into private square. Let's go. Um, oh, this is uh, Satori. Dark, dark Breath, uh, Slash of Eternity. And then Masakia has... What's Masakia have? Let me check. Uh, you have enough, I guess. So I'm going to use Dark Heal to get more Dark land. Dark Manipulation. Private square. I think this is the end of the game now. Here, ta -da! Yep. Yeah. Not yet. You serious? You better be dead on in this private square, baby. Well, actually, I do have one set of eye command bomb left, so I can cheese you out again if Saki doesn't kill you. But I'm pretty sure you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. You're pretty much dead, man. Nope, no more MP, baby. <laughs> oh well. Bonk. There we go. End of the game! Yes, I did it! Oh, although only on normal mode, I don't care. I finished the game, so screw you guys. And furthermore, I only did it with one party. I didn't even bother to use my second party. So yeah, that's great. Alright, so... Time to see the end cutscene. No idea what's, what's happening though. I should probably turn on Atlas first, that might be a good idea. There we go, that took a little bit while. Okay, so what's going on here, buddy? I don't know. I don't care anymore. It's not translating. Why is it... Oh, there we go. Took a while. Yeah, I think what happened was my pros... You see, um, I actually put my computer into sleep mode just like a couple of hours ago. And then, for some reason, my computer wouldn't burn again because of something about the processor because I overclocked my processor and then because it couldn't boot up it had to revert back to its manufactured um, speed. So that's probably why Atlas is taking a couple of seconds to grab to translate the copied text from this game. Um, I have no idea what's going on but Ram is like, yeah whatever bitches, you're mine now. 
You can't defeat us. We're invincible, etc. Or some crap. Oh yeah. That's right. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh yeah. We're like super awesome. We're gonna tell all our other names and give ourselves an awesome title to, to these guys because we just kicked their asses, you know? Just saying. That's right. Suddenly, non-serious tone for the game. Wahaha! Isn't that great? Question mark face? I don't know what's going on, but I don't care anymore. I finished the game. I'm I'm a happy chappy. What? What's going on here? There's someone else here. Oh, what's you? I thought you were petrified, buddy. <laughs> um. What? What? You troll! You massive troll! What? Oh. Um, right here would be a good time to do a uh, reference to Death Note and a Justice Plan reference, but you know what? Since I already just mentioned it just then, it, I completely ruined that. So yeah. <laughs> but wow, I did not expect that. What a troll. Sorry if you hear that in the background, but you know, I'm, I'm clearly not living at home. But whatever. Blah 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 blah. Okay, are we done now? Oh, hey, it's um Biakran Shrine. S n not gonna lie, Marasa's sprite looks really, really weird. Not gonna lie, it just looks really weird. Yay, Biakran's back! Yay! That's it. Okay. Sure thing. I really want to skip this, but it's the credits. So, I'm just going to leave this here. Hopefully no one uh, interrupts me during this, otherwise I'm going to be very mad. I guess this is a probably good time to say, um, you know, thanks to all of the viewers that have stuck through this from the very beginning because I did a very bad job commentating on this game in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie. I do I do actually watch back over my videos from time to time. I knew someone was going to interrupt me. I am not happy about that. Sorry about that, guys. I'm probably going to cut out that little bit there. Or at least the sound of the microphone. <sighs> but whatever. Oh, look, it's Kamachi. She's <laughs> still sleeping. <laughs> Even after all of this time. Oh, look. She actually woke up. Okay. Well, 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 what was I saying again? I forgot now. I was completely interrupted and stuff. Nope, I completely forgot. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the game. Oh look, it's Sikiaki. How are you doing? Hmm. She 
was clearly angry about something. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, she made up an excuse and she's like, oh, whatever, screw you, get back to work. I still can't remember what I was talking about before. That interruption just completely screwed in my mind. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I really wish I remember what I was going to say. Oh, it's Rena Super. How are you doing? Oh, dear. Man, you've been a real hot buddy. Crafting all those super special awesome items and stuff in order to beat down all the dudes. Truly cursor. So yeah, this is what Ante now. Oh, it's Makoto. How you doing? Welcome home. Why is Kagia being so nice to Makoto? I don't know. I don't care. <sighs> Still wish I remember what I was gonna say before. Oh wait, I was doing one of those like um end of the t end of the um series type things where like you thank everyone and then you know say you know this has been a really hard thing to do but pulled through, thank you for watching, etc, etc, but because I got interrupted, that completely ruined it. Oh well, what you gonna do? <laughs> Too late now. So what's going on here? Why is Kagia so, um, panicky or something? Is that the right, even the right word? I don't even know anymore. Well, at least you stopped. Um, something, something. Oh boy, is Mako gonna punch her in the face? Oh god! <laughs> Burn everything to the ground! Yeah. That's the old relationship I am, um, the one that I'm used to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I say I want to play Benny Hill over this part, but I'm not going to because I already did that. Oh, it's Yuka and Medicine. Yay. You know what? I'm, I don't really have nothing else to say about this game because it has been a chore, to say the least, especially grinding stage 21 for those items. Oh, actually, I should probably talk about the expansion some more, huh? Well, I looked at some videos and stuff, and I took a quick peek, because I actually finished this uh, a couple of hours before recording this, just to take a quick peek at what the expansion was about. This is how it works. You, you can you can start a completely new game from um, the expansion and it will start a new game from the very beginning of Genius of Sapphiros. However, if you have a completed save file in the expansion pack and you can easily do that by copying and pasting your save file it's a .sav file or .sav file it's like labeled TSD0001 or whatever whatever save file it is, copy it Paste it into your expansion folder, uh, your save folder of your expansion game, put it into there. Then what you can do, when you open up the expansion of the game, what you can do then is load up your cleared save, and when you do that, it will come up with some Japanese text, and it will tell you like yes or no. If you click yes, that will bring you into post game. So yeah, there's lots of stuff to do in post game, mainly new characters and lots of other stuff. And so on. Speaking of which, the expansion. Yeah, as I said before, they did some balancing with various skills and characters and so on. 
they also added new skills for each character and stuff. If I were you, I would stick with Genius of Sapphires 1.07 until you actually complete the game. Then do the expansion. Because one, Private Square isn't as good in the expansion. Not gonna lie, it's not as good, full stop. And two, the um, method that I outlined concerning the um, random encounters being fixed if you use F12. Yeah, in the expansion, the enemies are completely randomized. For example, if you run into an encounter, then run away from it, then encounter it again, it will be something completely different. It won't be the same encounter. So that would be a problem for item grinding, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I would think so too. So if you're grinding for items or finishing the game, please stick with 1.07 until you finish it, then use the um, expansion. Okay? You got that? Okay. That sounds pretty good. So I have no idea what's going on, but I'm going to assume that Yuyuko is happy with the adventure Yoma had with the dudes and hey it's Sono. By the way, spoiler alert, in the expansion you can get Sono, among other characters. One of them Sono. What the hell is that just up there? I see something up there, but I'm naughty what it is. Is that supposed to be a catfish? Please tell me it's a catfish. Or a giant frog. Either way. What is that thing? Idea? <laughs> wow. Wow, really, Cerno? Really? You remember in stage 11, in the boss fight, and Raymond met up with Cerno and stuff? What's a giant frog? And she's going to get eaten by the frog? Yep, she got eaten by the frog. Cool. Good job, Cerno.